What's up guys, welcome to the Antler Grow channel. Uh, today's video I just want to discuss on different types of plants that you can spray and you can't spray or, or shouldn't spray because it doesn't make sense. Uh, this question pops up a lot and just says, hey, you know, you guys say everything uh, green and growing, you know, what exactly does that mean? And I'll give you some options on what you can spray this time of year. We're in mid-June and uh, there's, you know, there's over 700 different species of natural browse and uh, plants that deer consume on a daily basis depending on what part of the country you're in. Uh, today we're actually standing in a 50 acre cornfield here. You guys can see all the corn back behind me and everywhere. Uh, it's about, I'd say it's about 18, 20 inches tall. And if you wanted to spray corn, you can spray corn. You know, the antler grow and everything is absorbed uh, through the leaves and everything. So it, it has that sticker and surfactant in there. So when you spray this leaf, it can't be washed off. It gets absorbed through the plant, goes down into the, to the roots and everywhere in that entire plant. Makes the corn thrive and you know anything that you spray will thrive. But corn is a good option this time of year. Uh, you can spray apple trees, pear trees, uh, persimmon trees, um, greenbriar, bushes, honeysuckle, poison ivy, every type of different species of natural browse that you can think of that deer are eating in your neck of the woods. Now, for me, I like to spray everything. And the reason behind this is when you're spraying something, you know, deer are kind of finicky, right? So when you, they may not eat something today, but tomorrow they may tear it up. So they may, they may not eat something in a month that they eat now. So it's just, they're very particular in what to eat. And that's the reason behind that is because different plants become more palatable throughout the year at different times. So what's palatable today may not be palatable tomorrow. So that's why I spray everything. Therefore, whenever that plant does become palatable, the nutrition's already there, we've already sprayed it, we know we did it, and we know the deer are getting the nutrition that way. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm huge on browse. You know, you spray natural browse, it takes care of, it's there year round, and the deer hammer it when the leaves fall off. You still have the woody browse that take over and the deer consume the woody browse. You know, I spray soybeans, buckwheat, winter wheat, winter rye, clo all your clovers, every, anything that's green and growing, you guys can hammer. Uh, with always a you know one to one ratio with the farmer's touch NPK and the antler grow one to one ratio if it's if it's something that's very short you know we cut it back to a half ounce per gallon of water until it you know gets a little bit older a little bit more mature then we hit it with the full you know potency of one to one one ounce of and one ounce to uh, one gallon of water but uh, that's just some options for you guys to spray we get the question all the time and you be uh, you know something that you shouldn't spray would be ferns because no matter what you do to a fern, I've personally never seen a deer eat a fern. Um, they're, they're just not going to eat it. It's not palatable to them. Even if you spray it, because we get that question a lot too. Hey, I sprayed, I sprayed this, but the deer aren't eating it. Why? Well, it's a fern, right? Deer just aren't going to eat a fern. Um, you know, and, and things sometimes like this time of year, I had a guy last year, I think he was, uh, he sprayed everything and they were they were hammering they were tearing tearing everything up he sprayed but he sprayed oats and the deer weren't eating it I said you're mid we're in midsummer you know deer aren't going to eat oats right now for the most part I mean they may eat them a little bit but it's just not when you spray you know when the deer eat oats oats are more of a fall crop you know when it gets colder out deer consume them then which would be a great time to spray but uh, you know majority of cases no matter what you spray in the spring and summer deer are going to eat it you get uh, more apples more pears bigger pears more apples persimmons you know peach trees all this different types of plants and bushes and fruits and shrubs and uh, briars and blackberry bushes all this stuff all this stuff you can spray if it has a green leaf on it you guys can hammer it spray it and enjoy the uh, rewards you get at the end any questions post a comment down below i'll see you guys on the next video mm -hmm.